What's going on YouTube? My name is Twig and today we are talking about a game called AI Limit. I came across this demo this past week and put a couple hours into it and just want to share my thoughts on it as well as provide some gameplay highlighting it. It has some really cool features and in my opinion feels like it could be a really good Souls-like so if you enjoy these first look style videos it'd be much appreciated if you could give this video a like. I plan to try to make more of these to highlight games that I find that I enjoy and have potential as they go through game development or are just planning for their upcoming release. Thank you for watching as always, now let's hop right into this one. I just want to give a brief overview of the story setting to set the tone of the game. After the sudden and mysterious collapse of the artificial ecosystem, natural disasters and wars ensued, leaving the civilization almost completely wiped out. As centuries passed, a strange substance known as the mud spread across the land and from it monsters emerged. You step into the last city of mankind named Havenswell to explore unique areas to seek the truth about the destruction of civilization filled with monster infested ruins. Take the role of a blader who has the appearance of a human but is actually a new life form created by mysterious technology. Travel through wonders, face mysterious and deadly enemies to put an end to the eerie and desperate history and uncover the truth behind the plagues and disasters. My first initial impressions with this game was that it feels like it has the potential with the gameplay feeling simple and easy to get adjusted to, but the question was, would it create that sense of rush feeling when it comes to combat? That's where I think these Souls-like games really shine. I do want to say, after you complete the demo, which is basically a tutorial covering these initial sewers area where you spawn, you get access to a boss challenge arena where you get to face a mid-game boss with various weapons, armor sets, spells, and items to use and try out. After completing the demo, I would say I was interested in the game, but after mastering the mid-game boss, I was actually really excited about the game. The tutorial in the demo does a great job at explaining game mechanics, but to just explain some stuff really quick, you have your health and sync rate meter located lower center screen. Your sync rate meter is kind of like a stagger meter from other games, except you can see your meter is broken up into three different sections. The needle will rise and fall along this meter with successful attacks or incoming damage taken. Combat in this game almost revolves around this meter and it plays a super big part of combat, which I think is really unique and cool. You're essentially an AI life form that uses this mud energy around you to dictate how much damage you can do while doing attacks, using spells, etc. The status sync meter is broken up into three sections, and I think there is even more later in the game, but they directly determine how much damage you're doing based on your energy level. If it's in the highest section, you'll do increased damage. In the middle, it will do standard damage. In the low section, you'll do lower damage, and then if depleted, you will enter a weakened state. Using different attack spells and such, you can also lower your percentage on this meter, and you'll see that boss enemies have these sync rate meters as well, and they're visually available. Located on the left side of your screen, you can see your upper D-pad item if you're using a controller, which is like your healing flask from Souls games, and then your lower D-pad item, which you can assign to a variety of different items to be cycled through, using the left and right D-pad buttons. You also have your Souls currency placed right along the bottom by those, and then moving over to the right side, you have your main weapon selected, your icon for the special ability of that main weapon, your spell selected, and then this large icon is what frame ability that you have selected. Kind of like in Liza P, your left arm can equip unique abilities to it, like being able to parry. There are quite a few more that we get a glimpse of, even in the demo through the boss challenge mode, but these can be hot swapped on the fly to completely change your build. If you want to block, select your shield ability. If you want to parry, quick select your counter field ability. In the boss challenge mode, unlocked after beating the demo, you get access to a quick step ability, and using all of these decreases your status meter, which kind of acts as a stamina bar so that you just can't spam these. But on the contrary, this beast rage ability adds to your sync meter while sacrificing health. I love trying out all of these, and I think they really add to the fight along with which spell you have selected. You get access to a ton in this challenge mode as well. I won't go over all of them, but you can have spells equipped that do small amounts of damage, which also take varying amounts of sync cost, and also have their own stat requirements to use. I use the weapon buffing ones the most for this boss fight because she was attacking so quick that it was hard to get some things off, and 
I'd usually just match my items to whichever spells I had selected, like fire resins or electric buffing resins. There is quite a bit to play around with, and the same goes for weapons. While going through the demo, at the first bonfire, you'll talk to Asteria, who gives you a little background on what's going on, and she acts as your firekeeper. This is where you can first level up using your souls like currency by rekindling the branch and increasing any of the five attributes, life, vitality, strength, technique, and spirit. And you get to select one of three weapons to use while also defeating enemies for the others if you do want to change down the line. But I went through with the big great sword, which I absolutely loved. And then going through the boss challenge mode, I experimented with pretty much all of them. And I really fell in love with the katana like sword. I feel like I'm really glad they put that mid game boss in there for you to try and face over and over just to try out other stuff to see what the game is like down the line because it made me really see how everything comes together to create this awesome game. The tutorial demo itself was fine, but a lot of the time the beginning isn't the most interesting part of the game because you don't have access to a lot of cool stuff. Enemies seem straightforward and easy. There are mini bosses that you can beat pretty easily as well. And then the main demo caps off with the first real boss who isn't hard once you learn his few attack combos and you can easily bait a parable attack that you can repost for a decent amount of damage. Dodging is kind of like Bloodborne, everything feels pretty good, and I do dig the vague story setting. The demo ran fine for me once I loaded each area. In spots I had FPS drops and minor stuttering, but just a very small amount. Others on the Steam discussion board have reported FPS drops as well, so that'll most likely be taken care of before launch. There is also a discussion thread on there talking about stolen animations for... <laughs> the one enemy with the large cannon spear with some people defending the devs and some saying it's blatant copying from from soft Dark souls 3 i don't know i don't know if i'd say it's a one for one copying but definitely heavily inspired it's just cool to see another anime souls like i bought code vein a while back but never really had the time to play it seeing as i make these youtube videos now i do want to try out and talk about as many games that interest me as i can I'm really looking forward to the full release for this one. The placeholder release date says 2024, but if you ask me, it'd probably be more in the range of early 2025 since we're in the last two months of the year now. Although there aren't very many big titles releasing, so it may be a good time to drop it if it's ready. I think this one will be a fun one to play through once it does come out. I had a blast defeating the Blade Hunter boss over and over, and hopefully we get to battle against even more awesome ones in the full release. Parrying feels good to me. The window isn't as tight as some games, and I think that's probably a good thing. Weapon variety is going to be amazing, and just the look of the game in general is cool with the different armors. I think this one is planning to release on PlayStation and Steam, so go wishlist it if it's something that you're interested in. As always, thank you for taking the time to check out this first look video covering AI Limit. Feel free to add me on Steam if you do game on PC or join my curator group on there. Both will be linked down below. Pretty cool demo, always in favor of devs putting out a demo showcasing what their game is all about and getting feedback from players before launch, especially in terms of optimization. But we have some really cool videos coming, so stay tuned and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace.